from here by Holy Innocence Church and School at Ashford St. Thomas. This is the road that will lead back to Bryan's Road in the Smith Hall St. Thomas. This is also referred to as the line. This is where the old boys' school for Holy Innocence used to be, which later became the Vicarage Club, which used to hold social activities for the church and other social activities. And this is not the cricket pitch here, the pavilion. Again, how it is here, but all under here. That is why the tide that went service is going on at the church, and the organ from the church vibrates into the field, causing a vibration. So, again, I'm in the center of the island, St. Thomas and St. George are the two land lap parishes here in Barbados. That's the first as the heart of Barbados. most of the people since the one in the church is filled. So I have lots of family buried here. My great grandmother, my great aunt and great uncles and cousins and my second aunt as well. All buried in this cemetery. So most of the people are buried now. Buried in the church cemetery, it will have to be a by grave or a very long standing member. So, we will put down in that church yard. This is the church here again. Sure, it is well taken care of, well tended to. Oh, 
Harley Long Road, Hard Astro Long Road. The school building here. attended my first two aunts, my great aunt and great uncle, and even my grandmother. This used to be a boy's school and it was also the girls' school until Hurricane Janet passed and struck Barbados in 1965, in September 1965, damaging a lot of buildings, homes and people as well. And holy innocent school suffered that fate of the hand of Hurricane Janet. The devastating hurricane. Back in those days, they did not have anything to warn you, to tell you that the hurricane is coming. Anybody that still knows about Janet, Hurricane Janet, will have to be very old, 17 now. Looking back up. Otherwise, you have to get buried over here. To the affectionate memory of John W. Carrington, who lived from the 2nd of January 1889 at the age of 53, and in loving memory of Margaret William, of wife of John W. Carrington, of Rational Hall, St. Thomas, who died the 3rd of November 1889. Thank you. 
Anglican churches in Barbados have a lot of historical pieces in them that need to be registered. These are very historic churches. These Anglican churches are very historic. This is the bell in here. This is the blue bell free. The bell used to be up in here first until the, the early 90s when they were building this front porch here. They took it down and placed it in here. They placed this bell in here. You can see the school building here again. And this is the bell court here, or whatever you call it. This bell was run by Mr. Hollis Obama Daniel, who was a section of the Roman Church from 1941 to 1993. And my great uncle Norman Levine was also a bell runner here one time. As well, he laid a rest in this cemetery on the opposite side. And this is the vicarage here where the former priest used to live. The last priest that used to live here was Reverend Stephenson Lake, who was here from 1987 to 2011. This is the vicarage. I think the whole function is here now. Something. Before Harrison Square runs out under here, that is where they say that when service is going at the church, that the organ vibrates into the church. In sacred memory of the following families William Green, John and Elizabeth Leach, William and Walter Daniel, Lenora and Alan Daniel, the Glasgow family, may they rest in peace. As I said before, this church is filled with the Daniel family, Levine, which is my family, the Dreads, I think the Tears and so on. This is all the church out here. This beautiful country church in the heart of Barbados. The people of St. Thomas adore this church very much. They even refer to it as the Cathedral of the North. They cherish it a lot. They take good care of it. They make sure it's well tended to. The grave of Leicester St. Clair Vaughan who was the former principal of Holy Innocent School back in the 1950s and 60s. He was also an organist and he was the one who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados in 1972. You can see the grave of Hudson because the great from here, who was also the former organist of this church and he was the principal of Holy at Hillary Turning Hall School which is also in this same parish. So thank you guys for watching now. Do have a blessed evening and stay tuned for more videos of Barbados. Back to where it started from. This road leading to Harrison Square by Westman Hall Gully and back to um, St. Thomas Cross Office. So thanks for watching now and have a blessed day.